tribe yes that was my good old TikTok. if you want to you can go check it out that's just the fast up um, version of this yellow fish curry as you can see we already into the ingredients looking real good the ground cloves is definitely a secret then we got the rest of it coming in with the cumin we have the cardamom some parsley and this is just the season for this amazing yellow curry fish let's get into it so the first thing you want to do is score the fish scoring also helps with putting seasoning directly into the fish meat uh, slicing the fish just for artistry you know for presentation but most importantly is to definitely get the seasoning into the fish even more and as you can see I'm using about in one inch cuts and then as I get to the smaller parts I'm starting with the half inch cut and it's looking good so I'm going to the other side and I'm doing just the same I had to take a break for a minute because make sure that even though you clean the scales sometimes there's still some scales left over just make sure you get it everything done right now it's time to add some lemon juice to kill any extra bacteria get any um extra anything out of the fish that was you know a part of the packaging or whatever you want a clean palate you want a clean fish and that's lemon not lemon lime juice so just wanted you to know that and I, i'm putting it all over i'm drenching this fish in lemon juice because i want to make sure everything is squeaky clean and healthy and ready to eat so yeah make sure if you don't have a lemon squeezer you can squeeze some lemon juice by hand and then put it on there it doesn't matter massage that fish yes get into it oh yes everybody will appreciate this part so once you get into it you see me still cleaning out the gills and everything and i mean for real because especially the way that fish is packaged and clean these days you really do need to clean your fish with water with the lemon juice get all the scales out anything now it's time to put that amazing seasoning onto the actual fish and this is a piece of perch look how big it is like wow i mean i don't know how many chemicals in here but i'm gonna eat it and i know it tastes good so <laughs> there it is yeah well, you want to season all parts of this you want to get inside on both sides you see me and it's a gentle sprinkle and i like this shaker the seasoning shaker just because you see how it's like a messy seasoning is not so much of a harsh you know all in one place type deal it spreads evenly pretty much all over and i'm putting that seasoning in the slits all over that fish but it's just enough it's not overly seasoned it's not underly seasoned it's just right and i mean every single part of that fish you want to get that gentle seasoning because this this fish right here was probably between 12 10 to 12 pounds i would say and um it was all worth it i mean gosh this is a meal for two at least you hear me at least so seasoning everything just helps it bring in all the the garlic the cardamom the, the cloves and i know a lot of people don't like using cloves for a lot of things but this is cloves are really good on fish so don't sleep on that now i'm getting ready to tie it down baby because this is my presentation part i love a good presentation so now you know if you try this technique make sure when you put this in you can use a needle and thread you can use the toothpick um or you can use like the smaller little picks that you have for like bartending or whatever so in the sense of saying that you want to make sure it's anything that you can fry and that's not going to melt and that's not going to give you any chemical reaction i did a little bit more shake on the top check out the fish mouth wide open ready to go <laughs> yes it's time it's time to put it on the fire so we had to make sure it was good and it stayed you know it kept the shape because for me it's not important that it keeps the shape the whole way through but once it starts because when you first start cooking fish then it creates that shape whatever however you put it in the pan is going to create that shape so let's take it over to the frying pan to walk let's walk it down oh yes check it out boom why did i put just that little bit of oil because the oil is going to rise as the fish cooks down and why am i putting the oil over it because this allows for it to cook on both sides not just evenly but even through the cracks as well as once i flip it it won't stick to the bottom of the pan because it's already a little crispy you know what i'm saying yeah technique it all comes together so it's getting to the point where it's time to flip it you see we got that golden brown on one side we got to have it on the other side and as you can see it, it got pretty cooked on that one side right 
All right. So now let's go ahead and flip that bad boy. Bam. Just like that. We didn't need to have no oil flying all over the place. We kept it nice and neat in the frying pan as it should be. And as it come down to that golden simmer, look at it on all sides looking all crispy. Yes, girl, you got your back out. I like that. <laughs> Woo, me and my greedy self. Oh, yes, yes. I was impressed with that fish. Trust me. Bam. You want to get something like this as far as a, a wired, um, something to catch your oil on. And you see I have a pan underneath so the oil actually goes in that pan. But that wire um, rack helps the steam and stuff to make it crispy as it dries out or whatever and, and release the oil because you don't want your fish oily you want it crispy and that is a you know technique as well so remember that get you one of those wired racks and make sure the more holes or more squares or whatever it has in it the better it's going to get it crispy and release all the other oils or whatever now you get into your rice you get into your rice oh yeah so i have my rice with some luncheon meat in it and then of course some um chicken broth and just you know just the right marinade to get that right you know have you some good rice with your fish gotta have it now i'm tossing in here my onions and my green peppers yes i put a lot of things in the freeze for storage which you know keeps it a long time that was a little ginger so that ginger helped to make it just enough tinge and then that curry lord there's the curry yes that yellow curry goes in there just right and you want to stir it to this consistency and then you want to add your coconut milk just like that you see what i'm saying oh yeah because now this is something you can balance to taste because sometimes you may not get the right taste you want and i did have to go back and put a little more ginger because i liked it when it's a little spicy you know i like my ginger to, to hit me and then um you know the curry as well so with the curry and the milk a little bit of salt and pepper and then some onions with my green peppers as well now it's time to plate it so the rice is looking all so great, steaming just so right. Mm -hmm. Now put that fish just on top, laying it gently. And this is my favorite part. Ooh, look at that. Yes. I had to get close. Yes. Oh, my gosh. It feels like I'm having an orgasm watching a fish get drizzled with some curry sauce. But you know what? It's going all the way in. It's going all the way in. I'm getting so excited just watching this again. I promise you guys, this was one of my top five things I've ever made, ever, ever. And it was so freaking delicious. The, the flavors, you know, they just complemented each other. I mean, the clove, it was just a great idea to throw that in there and to bring it all together. And man, the, the curry was just right. It wasn't too thick. It wasn't too runny. Look how it's laying on that fish down to the tail. Oh my God. Slap me. Don't slap your mom. But don't slap me. I'm just playing. Anywho, there we go. Dash a couple of onions on the top. Green onions making it just right. Yes, it's all about appearance. All about that great plating. Thank you and appreciate it in advance. Now it's time to eat. Look at there. Look at there. Mm, mm, mm. Man, my mouth is still watering. Watch this. Is yours? Is yours? Do you need to take a moment? Because you can. You can have a moment. Oh, yeah. There it was. That was the moment. <laughs> anyway, let me take the first little fork and put it in here. See how this fish came out. Is it cooked? Is it cooked too much? Is it cooked not enough? Let's see. Let's take a little dive into this fish and see how it's looking. Oh, yes. We cutting around this corner. See where them splits are? You see how all the, the curry just goes in between the slits? Just season it even more. O-M-G. Can't believe this just came out excellent, just perfect, just the way I wanted it, just the way I envisioned it. What do you think? Write in the comments. Ask me questions. Tell me. So oh, Jesus Christ. And the skin. And the skin is still edible. It's just perfect. It's not burnt. It's just crispy and it's coming off on the fork and the fish is cooked just right. It's moist. Come on now. You got a little bit of the, ooh, the singe of the fish that's just cooked just right. Then you're putting the, your curry rice on there with a little bit of the green onions. Ooh, talk to me now. Talk to me now. Come on now. Yes. And then look at it. Look at it. Look at it just sitting on the plate so gorgeous like ready to eat. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, down to the tail. Down to the tail, I tell you. Yeah. Mouth wide open. May you rest in peace because you did serve your purpose. I ain't even going to lie. Look at that. Look at that piece of fish. Yeah. I had to do a little at a time because, baby, 
That was a thick piece of fish, I promise you. It was so dang on thick, man. It was so thick. I could only blow the back out the first day. I had to come back to it the next day in the morning and eat it for breakfast just like I had it for lunch. Because look, check this out. I done blew the back out. Yes, I have. Ha! <laughs> Please. You think I'm going to sit here and eat that fish looking so good and not blow the back out? Come on. All that meat gone. I had to save it for the next day, and this was the next morning. And look at it. Still looking good, man. Nice, fresh, and hot. Look at that meat on that fish. Look at that meat on that fish. Still ain't dry. Nice and moist. Come on now. Stay with me. Stay with me. Because you know what? This is the best yellow curry fish you'll ever have. Get this recipe in your, in your index and make sure you use it. Send me some pictures of something, y'all. I'll see you soon. Try vibe.